Hey guys, this is Jacob. I want to show you a quick review of my leveling Bing build. I chose Bing for the preseason event. So this is what I will show you now. I just completed the story. I'm right going into maps and the build looks like this. It has around 1 million DPS right now after completing the story. So yeah, that's this. I haven't changed anything yet. This is just how I leveled. Uh, gear is what I found. Once uh, at the moment, moment you start finding items with energy, just swap in the items with the most energy you get. Only thing that I did not swap was boots because of the movement speed. You want the movement speed to get through the story faster. And early on, when you get the first rings and amulet and belt, craft any sort of like flat damage on them, which you can do right here. You just go to the crafting menu and you start crafting until you hit some damage roll. And then you lock it and you keep rolling until you like hit the second damage roll like this. That's how you craft your rings and amulets early. Okay. Um, skill wise I chose Enariar again and it was a blast. Like, you get this skill on around level 7, I believe, like really early. So I just started it, started using it right away when I got it. Um, yeah. Early on you have to cast it and it, it summons the Enariars. Later on, on level 13, you get the first uh, hero trait. And you start throwing mines. And it's, it summons them wherever you throw them. And yeah, um, so NRR, it is in order of importance. NRR with sentry modification, so you summon two of them at once, and the third link would be added physical damage. Later on, once you get items with er energy, you can add multifaceted guards to summon three of them instead of just two. But I did not focus on this at all. I just left it on two link for majority of the time and I focused on speed. So more links to blink, more links to centralized loading. Blink for movement speed. You want two charges on the so magic dash and then you want to decrease its cooldown. So quick mobility would be the free link and cooldown eventually <coughs> as well. The second mobility skill, centralized loading, it also increases your damage when you use it v and it has three charges on base. So you put in quick mobility and cooldown reduction and you can leave it like that. And that lets you like use your blink and then you can, you can use your centralized loading two times and blink again and centralized loading. The only thing that you need to like keep your eye on is to not use all your charges from one of the movement skills because if you do, uh, it if you do consume all charges on one of your movement speed, it uh, one of your movement skills it consumes all the charges on the other skill as well. So it looks like this, and both are on, on cooldown. So you just need to keep at least one charge on on each of them to be able to spam them like this and that helps you with speed. Uh, and the third mobility skill is blurry steps which increases your movement speed and you have the blurry steps up until you use your main skill. So if you don't need the damage from blurry steps you can summon your NRRs and then you can start blurry steps and you can keep like using the movement skills and it will not wear off the purple buff on the top of the screen but it also provides you with some damage so it gives you critical strike rating 
when you use it uh, or when you use main skill wh while the buff is up so the damage combo would be your Q and bloody steps and summon your NIRs and that way they deal mo more damage or bloody steps and dash and then yeah you get it so that's the damage combo and the last skill is compound potion I used limber stretch it seems that limber stretch is not working but yeah I've been using that all time a limber stretch should increase your movement speed that, but that seems that it is not working I don't know why that's the case at level 12 when you get your aura slots I've taken all energy out from wherever I had it and I've opened three slots in the passive skills and I've slotted in the three damage imbues which would be flame imbue, thunder imbue and corrosion imbue because all three of them give you flat elemental damage and erosion damage so flame imbue, thunder imbue and corrosion imbue and later on once you open added physical damage support you swap, you swap what, one of the imbues for acuteness imbue and you stick with that uh, the next aura would be swiftness and as the last one I'm using spirit thunder to increase my attack speed which helps you a lot later on once you open the second trait in machinist which scales your attack speed into centric at speed uh, so those are the skills uh, for the talent tree god of machines bottom side for sentries looks like this and the first talent would be sentry to increase your maximum sentry count and the second one would be overly modified to increase sentry damage the second one would be machinist <coughs> and you want to max these three before you start putting points into the threat tree to open the co-resonance so the three again the bottom side for sentry damage look like this and the first large trait is heat up for sentry damage and the second trait is for the scaling of attack speed into sentry attack cast and freq cast frequency it also gives it double damage chance but yeah and the third one I chose Ranger, I'm not sure what I will be using yet, but people seem to be using Ranger for the additional projectile damage here. But I will have to figure that one out. Um, for the traits, this one for more damage, that's it. Yeah. Th that's it for the build so far. I can try to run one map to just show you how quick it is. So this will be my first map. As you can see I still have the tutorial up. So we go this way. Open the map. Wow. Give me a moment to light the fire. Okay, I might have to look into the build <laughs> because these monsters are insane. <laughs> It's fun. Yikes. 
Ah. Hopefully I outrun that. <laughs> I can complete the map now. I'm glad that I did not choose to play on hardcore because this event is insane. No. Yeah, I'm done. So, uh, not not the best example, but I leave it in because that's how it goes. <laughs> Let's try another. And I have a lot of things to like look into still. So, w without preparation, the story took me around... <laughs> 2 hours and 45 minutes, I guess. Something like that. I had lunch in between. So, yeah. So this is how the map clear goes. It seems that it has decent damage. I won't be using revival tokens yet. Yeah, map was got deleted so... And that's it, that's a map clear, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next update which will be with the Time Mark 7 build.